Hi, I'm Michael and I want to show you my key to species. I made it as an easy to use tool to identify foraminifera. In this video I want to show you how it basically works. You see a lot of illustrations arranged in rows. Each illustration represents a, a single feature and each row a category. For example here the category overall. In one category you may only choose one illustration, meaning one feature. You have to make a choice. If you are not sure, leave the category as not selected. You only have to make your choices in three categories to get a good result. First, make yourself familiar with the features in one category. For example, in the first row you find the category Overall. And in this category the features called Spirally and Elongate. Due to the limited space only two examples for an elongate appearance are shown. But now comes the problem. If you go further you also find tub tubular, fusiform and leaf-like which may also be seen as elongate. The feature elongate in front stands for elongate forms not being specifically tubular, fusiform or leaf-like. Or to put it into other words, you have to make your choices from the shown illustrations. If you press the green overall link, you will get to the glossary which explains the features in detail. I will not do so just to focus on this part. Only after you are familiar with the features, it makes sense to look at the foraminifera you want to identify. Ok, let's take a look at one example. This foraminifera and from the side view you can see it's quite flat. So going back to our key to species in the overall category. It's easy to identify it as being uh, leaf-like. So you just need to click on the illustration leaf-like. The dot below shows your choice. The next two rows the next two rows contain two categories wall material and wall microstructure that are not so easy to identify though important in the classification of forms. You may want to leave it out. After studying the features of the chamber arrangement which is the next category you may want to choose B serial because of these two parts but let's take a look at our forum again. You can see definitely an initial spiral part here. So going back to the category chamber arrangement you have B serial with no spiral part here but you also have spiral to serial. So the best choice in this category or the, the choice in this category will be spiral to serial. Careful observation after knowing the features is essential here, by the way, in any key to species. So let's finish our job with the, th with the third choice. After row 3, you should just look for an easy and without doubt addressable feature. So don't make it too difficult for yourself. If we walk through these lines, through these rows, the, in the ornamentation reticulate may be seen as very clear. So we press reticulate and the position of the primary aperture, just let me show you, is here, is definitely terminal. So we may also choose in the position of the primary aperture terminal. So we have made our choices and now are able to click proceed. The button is below here. 
We are now transferred to the text version of our choices. Leaf like, spiral to serial, terminal and reticulate. The result is quite specific addressed to Neoflabellina reticulata. If we put away now reticulate, press search, we will get more possibilities and if we put away another feature, we will even get more possibilities, which is uh, probably the usual case. So what are the options from this point? you may want to see an overview of a genus. So for example Frondicularia, you press on the genus link and you get an overview of different Frondicularias. You may want to see a single species, let's say Biformis, and you will be directed to the species page with which has uh, synonyms and the basic characteristics and uh, some more images. And the last option is that you click on the image of the single specimen which will direct you to, the, to this page where you have detailed information on the single specimen and most important a literature source where you can find more information. On the top of your browser you will have all the tabs open which you have used, the page from where you made your choices, genus page, specimen page, species, so you can move around and uh, you can also easily alter the features you observed and see what uh, different results are shown. So that was the basic idea of my design. to give you a tool to find out about possible identifications. We are now finished with this basic overview. Thanks for your attention. Please note that our system only contains 2000 species or will contain 2000 species of approximately 100,000 species described. For a Minifera EU is an unfunded project based on the enthusiasm of its contributors. Please consider to contribute illustrations of your forum, forums to enlarge our coverage. Any other help is welcome, except for money, because we view money as a real spoiler. Thanks in advance.